Hello friends, Holly Rhiannon here and I am back in action. Today I'm excited to introduce you to something really special that my small press has been working on and that is the order of the written word. In this video I'll be going over everything you need to know about the event from its structure to how it supports and celebrates human creativity and how you can get involved. So if you're a writer, a poet, or someone looking for a creative community who wants to push back against the growing influence of AI-generated content, stick around. So what exactly is the order of the written word? Well, the idea came to me when I was on a train heading back from a family wedding. All of a sudden, my phone was blowing up with info about how NaNoWriMo had just co-signed the use of AI during their writing challenges. After doing as much reading as I could at the time and conferring with my fellow Montreal Municipal Liaisons, every one of us tendered our resignation. Over the years, I have really passionately supported NaNoWriMo. I've advocated for funding during Project for Awesome, uh, and I've created content yearly to help others engage with the event. My commitment to NaNoWriMo and its mission has really been an unwavering one, and this event was what honestly kicked off my whole YouTube life and getting into writing in a bigger way. However, with scandals and frustrations building up, this was the final straw. I was deeply disappointed with NaNoWriMo's stance on AI and find their position to be unacceptable and insulting, especially given the value that I place on human creativity. Their reasoning for promoting AI was that it would be an assistance to disabled and lower income authors, which I find kind of ridiculous, especially considering that this statement came out right when they had accepted a new AI-related sponsor. I have friends who are both writers and disabled, and I believe they and all writers should not need AI to validate their creative abilities. But the thing is, I planned quite a bit of my year around NaNoWriMo, given how big of an influence it has on my life, and I didn't want to lose the challenge and the community and the creativity that comes with it, and I knew I wouldn't be alone in thinking this. So with that, the order was born. The Order of the Written Word is a writing challenge designed for dedicated authors, poets, and storytellers. In a world of AI-generated content, we celebrate the power of the human imagination. Whether you're drafting a novel, crafting poems and short stories, or refining a manuscript, our event provides a focused and supportive environment to do that work. You can choose your path, connect with your fellow writers, and create something uniquely yours. October is what we call the crafting grounds. This month is all about preparation. It's your time to brainstorm, outline, and refine your ideas. You can spend time figuring out your characters, plot lines, themes, basically getting everything ready for November. The idea here is to lay a solid foundation so that when November rolls around, you're ready to hit the ground running. Then comes November, where the real action happens. <laughs> We've designed three main challenges, each focusing on a different aspect of writing, so you can choose the one that aligns with your creative goals, or try to do all three if you're feeling extra ambitious. So let's break it down. First is the novelist's initiation. This challenge is for those working on a novel. The goal, write 30,000 words on your current work in progress. If you're starting something brand new, there's also a bonus task. Try to finish the first draft of this novel taking a minimum of 30,000 words. If you do complete an entire novel during this challenge, my press, the Stygian Society, will consider it for publication in spring 2025. Next up is the trials of verse and vignette. If poetry or short stories are more your thing, then this challenge is for you. The task is to write either 15 poems or 8 short stories, with each story ranging between 1,000 and 10,000 words. This is a perfect opportunity to experiment with different forms, styles, and themes. By the end, you could have enough material for a small collection of your work. And again, these are also being considered for publication should you complete a final draft. And third is the refinement ritual. For those of you who have already finished a draft and you're not wanting to start on something new, whether it's a novel, a collection, or you know, a batch of poems, this is your time to revise. This challenge focuses on polishing your work and bringing it into its best possible form. And again, publication is on the table. 
A part of the event is scroll work sessions, which will run through October and November, and I will be hosting on Fridays, generally at 6 p.m. Eastern, but this coming Friday I accidentally double booked, so I'm going to be running them from 5 to 6 Eastern this Friday, but it should be smooth sailing for the rest of the event. These are focused writing sprints where we'll all come together, set our timers, and get down to work. Whether you're writing, revising, or outlining these sessions are going to be a great way to carve out dedicated time and hit your goals. Now, why the emphasis on human creativity? For some it may be obvious, but if you're wondering why I and many others are so obsessed with this, well, we live in a time where AI-generated content is becoming more and more prevalent. You've probably seen AI stories, poems, even articles circulating online. And while there's no doubt that AI can replicate patterns and churn out words, it can't replicate the human experience, the emotions, the cultural nuances, the individual perspectives that each of us bring to our work. That's why this event is about reclaiming that space. We're focusing on the creative process that only we as human beings can engage in. Whether you're a seasoned writer or just getting started, your voice matters and we want to celebrate that. We're encouraging writers to resist the temptation to take shortcuts and instead lean into the creativity. This is about telling your stories in a way that is true to you. There's an authenticity that can only come from human minds and that's what we're honoring here. So how can you join the order of the written word? It's simple. This year we are running the event on Discord. We only had a month to get everything up and running, so building out a proper site for that was going to be impossible, especially without a lot of funds. That being said, if I can say so myself, I'm pretty proud of what has been accomplished in that month. We've got Freewrite, Ellipsis, and Scrivener on board as sponsors, and that's not all, but more on that later. Simply follow the invite link to our Discord community. You can find it at stygiansociety.com slash theorder, as well as in the pinned comment on this video. From there, you'll enter the welcome page. You will click rules on the left navigation bar, and there you will be able to react to the rules we've posted, and that will unlock the entire server. We have to implement these steps as security measures so that we don't get invaded with spam bots. Throughout the event, you will have access to Sprinto for sprints, as well as Writing Stats, which is the bot that lets you track your word count or the number of poems or stories that you've completed. It's an easy way to stay motivated and see where you're at with the challenge and also share it with your fellow participants. And don't forget about those fellow participants. You'll be able to engage in discussions, ask questions, and share your progress. Writing can be a really solitary process, but we're here to make sure you have a supportive group around you. Whether you're offering advice or seeking feedback, there's always someone in the community that's going to be there ready to help you along the way. And also, if you're interested in hosting any workshops through October and November, just let me know and we will figure something out. Another great part, I think, of the order of the written word is how interactive it is. We've set up dedicated channels on Discord for each phase of the event, so whether you're in the crafting grounds brainstorming your novel or knee-deep in the refinement ritual polishing your poetry, you'll have space to connect with others going through the same challenges. And the scroll work sessions I mentioned earlier are a key part of that. These timed sprints will help you focus, push through writer's block, and hit your goals. Think of them as mini virtual retreats where we all come together to focus on writing and nothing else. Now, I also want to give you a little sneak peek of where we're headed. This year, everything is happening through Discord, but we have big plans for the future. By 2025, we're hoping to launch a full website dedicated to the order of the written word, complete with progress tracking, live interactions, and virtual workshops. The goal is to build this into a space where writers can come year-round for inspiration, resources, and a sense of community. I think you've heard me speak to community quite a bit over the years, and this has really allowed me to bring a lot of ideas together into one space that has just been going so smoothly. You know how sometimes you start projects and there are bumps along the road, it doesn't just come together. This is one of those projects that has just come together, which makes me a lot more dedicated to where it's headed, if you know what I mean. It seems like something that's meant to be. I should also mention that we are supporting pro-literacy as part of this event. A portion of the proceeds from our merchandise sales will go directly to helping adults improve their literacy skills worldwide. 
So not only are you joining a fantastic writing challenge, but you are also contributing to a great cause. And let's quickly loop back to those sponsors. I'll give you a quick rundown. Freewrite has generously donated one of their devices, which you can win if you complete the challenge. Scrivener is offering 20% off of their software to our participants. Ellipsis has been incredibly supportive from the start and will be running a workshop so you can learn more about what they're doing on their end to promote human creativity. On top of this, as I mentioned earlier, the Stygian Society will be considering finished works for publication. Our editor, Pamela Cat Johnson, is offering winners 15% off of her editing services. And my podcasting partner and board member of the order, Jenna Streety, will be offering discounted design services so you can create a polished online literary presence. All right, I think that's all you need to know about the order of the written word for now. If you're ready to join us and take your writing to the next level, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates. I'll be posting more videos throughout the challenge with tips, writing prompts, and check-ins, as I normally would for NaNoWriMo. Follow us on social media for even more behind-the-scenes content, and if you haven't joined yet, the link for the server is down below. We can't wait to see what you create with us. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you within the order. Join us this November. Your story begins here.